Hey guys, today we're going to be working on calculating x and y intercepts, then graphing and writing equations when given the intercept points. So this is our goal for today. It's going to be a pretty simple short lesson and there's lots of choices that you can make on how you solve these problems. But first, let's begin with our spirals. Today's spiral problems are 4, 5, and 6. You may want to hit pause, take some time to work on them, and then when we're done, we're going to review the homework. Again, you're going to want to hit pause there and check all of your answers at each point. So to graph using intercept points, the first thing you're going to want to do is to find the x-intercept. To do that, plug in 0 for the y-value and solve for x. Then you're going to want to find the y-intercept, so plug in 0 for the x-value and solve for y. From there, just plot the points, draw your line, and then use either rise over run or your slope formula to find your slope so that you can plug it in and create your slope-intercept form equation. Yes, I could just transform everything into slope-intercept form from the beginning and then use rise over run graphic like we've always been doing it. However, that's not the point of today's lesson. Today's lesson is all about you learning to graph using the intercept points. This is example number one on your sheet. This example has 2x minus 3y equals negative 6. This example is not in slope-intercept form. In fact, the goal today is not for you guys to work in slope-intercept form until the very end of the problem. The goal for today is to find those x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. In other words, we're looking for the x value when y is 0. That's your x-intercept. And we're looking for your y value when x is 0. That's your y-intercept. To do this, all you really have to do is plug in either a 0 in your x or a 0 for your y and solve for the other value. So let's start with the x-intercept. The x-intercept is the value of x where y is 0. So I'm going to plug in 0 for my y value. That gives me 2x minus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. 2x minus 0 equals negative 6. 2x equals negative 6. Divide by 2. x equals negative 3. That means that my x-intercept is negative 3 comma 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. I'm looking for the value of y when x is 0, so I'm going to plug in an x value of 0. That gives me 2 times 0 minus 3y equals negative 6. 0 minus 3y equals negative 6. Negative 3y equals negative 6. Divide by negative 3 on both sides. And that gives me y equals positive 2. That means that my y-intercept is 2. Now that I have my intercept points, I've got my y-intercept and my x-intercept, all I need to do is plot them. I know that when x is 0, y is 2. And when x is negative 3, y is 0. Now that I have two points, I can draw my straight line. You use a ruler through those two points, and I've graphed it. You got now that I have my intercept points, my graph, and everything ready to go, the only thing left to do is to actually transform this into slope-intercept form. There's a couple of things you can do. You can just take this equation 
and solve it for y, in which case you end up with 2x minus 3y equals negative 6. Move the 3y over. Why? Because I prefer to work with this as a positive. That leaves me with 2x equals 3y minus 6. Now the 6 needs to move over. That leaves me with 2x plus 6 equals 3y. Divide every term by 3. And my answer is 2 thirds x plus 2 equals y. Another way you could have done it, <clears throat> instead of having to transform it, since we already graphed it, just apply rise over run. We know that this is rising 2 and then running 3. I have my y-intercept, that's my b-value, I have my slope, so I can just say my equation is 2 thirds x, y equals mx plus 2, y equals mx plus b. A lot easier. There's one final thing you could have done. So again, the first one was to transform my standard form into my slope intercept form and get my equation that way. The second one was to find rise over run for my slope and then plug in my slope and my y-intercept. The third option is to take your equation for slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and plug in these two points. That would have given you, say this is y2, 2 minus 0 over 0 minus negative 3, which works itself out because two negatives would make that a positive. So 2 thirds. Now that I have my slope and I have my y-intercept, y equals slope 2 thirds times x plus my y-intercept 2, y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Three different paths all got us to the same place. So now you guys try example 2 and I'll show you my answer in a minute.